Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we're tracking for you on Monday the 31st of July. Parliament log jam continues opposition objects to short discussion on Manipur. Pakistan suicide bombing death toll rises to more than 45. And devotees in India offer prayers on auspicious Monday of Shravan Month. And now for all the details. The Rajya Sabha, the upper house of the Indian parliament, continued to witness high decibel unrest on Monday as the speaker finally took up short duration discussion on violence hit Manipur amid staunch objection by the opposition. However, the repeated disruption forced the adjournment of the proceedings yet again. The parliament has not been able to function since the start of the monsoon session, with the opposition demanding a statement by Prime Minister Narendra Modi on the crisis. This past weekend, a delegation of lawmakers from the Opposition Alliance also visited relief camps in Manipur to assess the situation. And it is extremely unfortunate that Prime Minister of India is not willing to come to the Parliament, let alone speak on an issue. He is not willing to hear us on the issue. If BJP ke sangsar demand kar rahe hai, short duration discussion, Pradhan Mantri to unki baat sunne ko bhi nahi sadan ko. ये मणिपुर के प्रति अन्याय है विपक्ष अब तक जो मणिपुर के ऊपर क्रॉकोडाइल टीयर शेड कर रहे थे ये अभी स्पष्ट हो गया है हां क्रॉकोडाइल टीयर सी थे वो जेन्युइनली मणिपुर के ऊपर चिंता है तो अभी कोई रुकावट होना नहीं चाहिए सीधा आकर चर्चा करना चाहिए था Meanwhile, the Supreme Court on Monday said that it will send officers with no political alignment to look into the Manipur viral video case where two women were paraded naked and assaulted by a crowd. The Apex Court called the incident horrendous and said we have to ensure that the process of justice goes to the doorstep of the victims. The matter has been posted for hearing on Tuesday. Well, a personnel of India's Railway Protection Force on Monday shot dead four people, including an assistant sub-inspector on board a running train in Mumbai city. The accused, identified as Chetan Singh, was later arrested as he attempted to run away. Reports suggest the accused was mentally unstable. The Indian Railways has said that families of the deceased were being contacted and will be granted a compensation amount. Further investigation is underway in the case. किया जा रहा है चेतन सिंह से बहुत इंडेप्थ जो इंट्रोगेशन है हम लोग कर रहे हैं जो बाकी इन्वेस्टिगेशन में जिस तरह के स्टेटमेंट्स आ रहे हैं जिस तरह के वीडियो आ रहे हैं सब की छानबीन की जाएगी and death toll jumped to more than 45 on Monday, a day after a suicide bomber set off explosives at a political rally in Pakistan's Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. The blast took place at a local gathering of ruling alliance partner, JUIF, in tribal area of Bajor, compounding fears of unrest ahead of general election due later this year. While Tehri ke Taliban Pakistan and associated groups have been behind most of the attacks in recent months, the group has distanced itself from the Sunday's attack with a spokesman condemning it. Police officials investigating the attack have suspected the Islamic State group could be behind the attack. Meanwhile, Pakistan's Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif has said that the ruling PMLN party Supremo Nawaz Sharif, who has been living in London since 2019, will face the law upon returning to the country. Sharif was disqualified in 2017 by the Supreme Court and he became ineligible to hold public office for life after the court's verdict in Panama Papers case. In an interview to the GEO News, Shehbaz Sharif said his elder brother will return to Pakistan in the next few weeks. He maintained that the National Assembly will Will complete its tenure in August and the general elections in Pakistan are likely to be held in November. The elections are approaching after months of political and economic turmoil. Moving on, people in parts of Gilgit Baltistan have been badly hit by flash floods triggered by heavy rainfall in recent days. The deluge has damaged several houses and cultivated land, but there has been no relief from the government so far. A report.
Residents in flood-hit areas of Gilgit, Baltistan have expressed anger towards the Pakistan government for ignoring them amid the flood situation which has left a trail of destruction in the occupied region. The deluge has damaged several houses and inundated large tracts of cultivated land. Locals said there is a need for immediate relief and rehabilitation efforts, but they are being ignored by the authorities. اس وقت جو فصل پک کے تیار ہوئے تھے مکمل طور پر تباہ اور سند تقریبا صحیب آباد کا ایریا مکمل طور پر ڈیمیج ہوا ہے تین کول مکمل طور پر وارٹر چینل مکمل طور پر تباہ ہو گیا ہے اگر سرکار نے کوئی توجہ نہیں دیا تو عوام بہت بے بس ہو گئے ہیں اور بہت مشکلات میں ہیں لیکن ہمارے جو سیلاب متاثرین ہیں ان کے لیے کوئی بندوست نہیں کیا گیا ہے نہ زمین لے گیا ہے اور نہ ہی مکانات بنائے گئے ہیں لہذا ہماری حکومت سے گزارش ہے کہ ملک کے دیگر صوبوں کی طرح ہمارے سلام متاثرین کے ساتھ بھی انصاف کا معاملہ فرمائے جائے لوکلز لیمنٹڈ دو اٹ ہیز بیکم این اینول فینومنا دا کرپٹ اتھارٹیز ہیو میڈ نو لرننگ اینڈ نو ایفرٹس آر ڈاؤن ٹو میٹیگیٹ دا ایفیکٹس آف فلڈس اینڈ میلٹنگ گلیشیئرس Well, protest by opposition Bangladesh Nationalist Party, the BNP, turned violent this past weekend after supporters clashed with police officials in Dhaka. Police fired rubber bullets and tear gas as opposition party supporters pelted stones at them while they were blocking major roads in the capital city. The BNP said dozens of its supporters were injured, while police has claimed at least 20 of their officers were also hurt in the Saturday's clash. The BNP is in disarray since its leader, Khaled Azia, was jailed in 2018 on graft charges. Over the past months, the party has held protest rallies against Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina and demanded her to step down ahead of the next election due in January 2024, a demand her government has rejected. And Hindu devotees across India thronged temples to offer prayers to Lord Shiva on the fourth Monday of the holy monsoon month of Shravan. The Mondays of Shravan are considered extremely auspicious. Take a look. Thousands of devotees in India gathered at temples to offer prayers to Lord Shiva, the Hindu god of destruction, to seek his blessings on the fourth Monday of the monsoon month of Shravan. The Mondays of the holy month are considered extremely auspicious. As part of the rituals, devotees offer milk, bilva leaves and honey to the Shiva Lingam, the phallus representation of Lord Shiva. It is believed that praying to Lord Shiva during Shravan brings luck and prosperity. Bhagavan Shiv kya sabse sarvadik, sabse priye, sabse jo Bhagavan ko priye mahina hai, wo saavan ka hi hai, jis mein Bhagavan Shiv, jo bhi inki jo sabse jada ro pooja, pooja to hamesha hi pure bara mehne hoti hai. पर सभी जो 12 महीने इनकी पूजा करते हैं उसका जो फल जो इस सावन के महीने के अंदर जितनी वो पूजा करता है उसके फल के बराबर फल मिलता है और भगवान शिव इससे प्रसन्न होते हैं थाउजेंड्स ऑफ पीपल आल्सो टुक अ होली डिप ऑन द ओकेजन इन द गंगा रिवर इन वाराणसी ड्यूरिंग द होली मंथ मैरिड वुमेन आल्सो ऑब्जर्व फास्टिंग ऑन मंडेस एंड प्रे फॉर लॉन्गर लाइफ ऑफ देयर हस्बैंड्स वेरीज द अनमैरिड वंस प्रे टू लॉर्ड शिवा टू गेट अ सूटेबल मैच आज चौथा सोमवार है बहुत बहुत भीड़ यहाँ तो दर्शनार्थियों का हुजूम सा लगा हुआ है आप नदी में देख सकते हैं यहाँ नहाने तक की जगह नहीं है बहुत ही भीड़ है टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज एंड व्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया